right. First of all, why would you recommend using offset printing? Good question. <laughs> and it's uh, uh, offset printing uh, ahead of, uh, you mean like letterpress printing or anything like that? Uh, there's so many different ways you can do offset printing or um, depending on the quantity. You do uh, offset printing for uh, larger quantities of uh, say brochures or anything like that. It's cheaper to do it that way. You're doing photocopying, um, less amounts is the way to go. What would be the most common, I guess, job you'd use for offset printing? Brochures, booklets, envelopes, uh, letterheads. Yep. Um, general stationery or anything like that. It's the best way done, offset printing. So when you receive files, for any printing or offset, what's the number one pet peeve you have with the file set up, ready for press? The uh, PDF is the best way to uh, set them up for um, whether it's offset printing or copying printing. Uh, as long as it's uh, saved or uh, set us in the, um, the right method, um, high quality is the best way to go. If um, you may understand that you have a brochure that has uh, edging right to the, uh, or printing right to the edges. Yep. Needs to be done with what we call um, a uh, three millimeter uh, bleed uh, with cut lines. Yep. Um, makes life a lot easier for both printing offset and copying. Yeah. So would you also recommend including fold lines outside of the bleed margins? Yeah. Yes. It it's, makes life a lot easier for uh, the printer so, um, and the customer as well as to where they want it folded. Uh, it's the only way you can do it. A lot of um, customers don't quite understand this, but um, mm. if, if the um, trim lines, the fold lines and all of that are uh, on the uh, document, that's the most accurate way to uh, keep a customer happy. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. What are some printing methods that you do in your line of work that help packaging or letters, posters be more sustainable and more friendly to the environment? There's two ways of doing it. One is the um, usual CMYK, um, so I'm magenta, um, uh, black and yellow is what the basic process colours are. Uh, which is ideal for uh, general colour printing, which covers virtually every colour that you need to have that's printed CMYK. The other method is uh, what they call Pantone, where the customer might want a particular colour printed in a, uh, a Pantone ink. So then it's, uh, it can involve uh, extra printing by in other words, not a four colour process, which is what I mentioned. It could bring in a lot more plates, a lot more extra printing. It's a more expensive way to uh, to prevent, uh, to uh, pr uh, process documents or um, brochures or things like that if they're having these extra colours. It's mm. a more expensive way to go. Yeah, that's awesome. How sustainable is offset printing compared to other types of printing jobs out there? It depends on whether you're going back to the past where they used to do letterpress printing. Yeah. Which is uh, usually done with um, typesetting on lead. Mm. And um, obviously that doesn't happen uh, today. Uh, your original uh, newspapers like the Herald Sun and all of those, they were printed uh, letterpress back in, um, and I'm only talking about 20, 30 years ago. Mm. And that's where all you got was black and white. The uh, photos were a lot thicker with uh, the dots, um, whereas offset printing, um, your Herald Sun, for example, and any other newspapers are printed uh, that way. And every day you get uh, coloured. So. General, uh, the uh, it's pr uh, different types of printing machines. 
You've got your uh, single, uh, the one that I mentioned to you this morning, which is the GTHO, mm -hmm. which is a, a German machine. Uh, that's a single colour, which I've got here. But you get other machines that have got four colour heads. Mm -hmm. uh, done it that way. But there are several other print methods, um, which takes a lot to explain. Um, as I say, I've just been brought up with uh, uh, the type of machines that I've got. Mm. So I can't detail properly on the other types of uh, type of printing machines, but yeah. they're usually a lot bigger uh, machines, uh, obviously a lot more expensive to run, mm. and you need a lot of uh, operators on them, not, not just one operator. So yeah. the general uh, four color process machine, you can get away with one operator for the way that we do it. Mm. Awesome. With my design, I've chosen a matter of life and death, which was formed in 2018. My design follows duotone production techniques to help save on cost, as well as choosing typography that is both bold and legible within the production. This is because of the old technology can sometimes have misalignments. Uh, this is the design I came up with for the offset printing example using the Melbourne Writers' Festival. I went with a massive amount of pencils collage in the background to represent all the writers in the room. Down the bottom is all the sponsors, all proud members of the Melbourne Writers' Festival. A design like this in today's world would just be printed on regular printers. Still massive and can produce a large amount of print to, prints at once. However, it operates more like your home printer rather than offset printer. If we were to use offset printing, it'd be etched into a metal sheet, then with ink applied, rolled over the paper as it goes through the press. I'm just using one colour for this, and it can just use one section of offset printing using the spot colour I have chosen. For my Melbourne Writers' Festival design, I did a double-sided postcard for the school's program. A single Pantone colour for each side to make the printing job faster and cheaper. I went with some photography of Carlton Gardens Playground and the Melbourne Museum to tie it in with the school program. <laughs> 